Mr. Cooper, what type of air facilities do you have planned now for the Franklin County Rocky Mount Airport? Well, John, we are in the process now of receiving the deed for 219 acres of land to construct a what's called a Category uh, 3 airport. It'll be 3,500 feet long, paved with an apron, uh, FAA approved. It'll be primarily for light aircraft, light twins. No jets or heavy uh, commercial type aircraft. Why is there a need for air facilities in Franklin County? Well, the Franklin County industrial development in the last few years has been tremendous, we're proud to say. And we have now between eight and ten companies operating aircraft uh, that are based in Franklin County. They need to operate the aircraft here, out of this facility. Uh, the Roanoke facility is a fine facility. However, it is overcrowded. This can be used as a reliever airport. Now, the VPI industry site is in the process of being developed. Uh, this site itself will be greatly enhanced by the addition of the airport. It will become valuable industrial property, and we think that will, in turn, financially assist the airport. Looking into the future now, uh, could you potentially become a commercial airport to handle commercial liners? Uh, in the far distant future, yes. Any FAA-approved airport must be able to expand to 5,000 feet and on to 6,000. However, this is far into the future and is not in the immediate plans. What about financing? Where is the money going to come from to build the airport? The uh, federal government pays 50 percent, the state pays 25 percent, and the local uh, sponsors pay 25 percent. However, this donation of the land assures the local sponsors of having their 25 percent uh, supplied. How long before you'll be in operation? That's a good question. <laughs> we would hope that uh, with the new bills in front of Congress, if they are approved re uh, soon, we may be able to start construction next summer. That's all depend contingent upon funds. <laughs>